Hello and welcome to Shadow Politics. Um, this mission does not have a briefing, so once again I'm going to go read out the briefing text that I have posted into Notepad here. After the Ramirez and Downwind Guild jobs, I decided to keep a low profile for some time in order to strengthen my network of acquaintances and associates. It didn't take long for some rich people to follow my trail and try to contact me. Huh, I robbed and humiliated a warden after all. One night a stranger knocked on my door and said his master wanted me to do a job for him. I was about to dismiss him when he managed to distract me. 15,000 gold for the job. That's something I cannot refuse. The job is to break into a highly secured embassy in the middle of Hightown and steal a priceless diamond staff owned by an aristocrat from Blackbrook, a city-state currently at war with the city. That nobleman, Duke Whitehall, is urging the Baron to cease the war between the city and Blackbrook for economic reasons and my mysterious employer doesn't want that to happen. By stealing his staff, he thinks that the Duke will blame the city for the theft and return to Blackbrook, cancelling all negotiations and thus allowing the war to continue. Breaking into this embassy will be tough. Since the meeting is to be held tomorrow, the security will be extra heavy. The district is closed at night and a swarm of lawmen patrol the streets, but fortunately a friend of mine can let me through the Lampfire Lane gate for two pieces of silver. I also have a map of Hightown that I managed to piece together over the years. I don't often go in there, but it's a pretty lucrative area despite the danger. Once there, I'll have to carefully avoid being caught. The rooftops or the sewers should do the trick. My employer has given me instructions to follow with some in information about the embassy itself. This will come in handy when I'm there, because I have the feeling this is not going to be a kickwalk. Right, let's get it going. Difficulty normal. Break into the Hightown Embassy and steal Duke Whitehall's prized staff. It is most likely kept in a secure vault. Rumour has it that an expensive and rare pagan tome found its way to Hightown. It would fetch a nice little bonus if you could find it and steal it. Hightown is a wealthy part of town. Do not leave without at least 1200 worth of valuables. When everything is done, leave Hightown the way you came, through Lampfire Lane. Very good. Hard. Our loot goal is now 2400. Make the nobility pay for your troubles by snatching at least 2400 worth of valuables from them. The blood of innocence on your hands will tarnish your excellent reputation. Do not kill any unarmed people. Um, and hard is don't kill anyone, 3000, right? Just standard difficulty this time. So I'll do it on hard, as usual, so that if I get in a tight corner, I can hack my way out of it. But the aim is to avoid tight corners. Let's go steal a staff from the embassy. Ugh, noisy. Get out of that. Got the noise there. Let's check our map. Alright, so we're starting here. I'm gonna go through the lamp by lane gate. And, um. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Where are we going? The embassy's to the north, heavily guarded. So, public works, another nobleman's estate, hammer place. Excellent. Uh, should be lots of pickings around there. That's the only map we've got. Right, let me make a save right at the start. And let's go loot the town. And uh, before we go through, I can already hear somebody snoring up there. That would, yeah. yeah. Just a nice convenient gallows here. Uh, before I run up there, let's see what these notices say. Honest citizens of Hightown, the petty knave bastion, known as the Swift, will be publicly hanged on the morrow morning at the gallows on Lampfire Lane. This thief is accused of burglary, second degree theft, assault on an officer of the Baron's police, verbal assault on a fellow Hammerite guard, and verbal assault on the most noble and respectable Lady de Ravencourt. Let his execution demonstrate that the Baron's police does not tolerate crime. So declared and thusly written, Commissioner de Nevin. Honest citizens of Hightown, it is hereby declared that the district of Hightown be under curfew from dusk till dawn because of the meeting between the City Council and the Blackbrook Ambassador, and this curfew should remain so until the negotiations are over. Anyone caught wandering the streets during curfew will be harshly punished and sent to Crags Cleft Prison for detention. So declared and thusly written, Commissioner de Navan. Well, Commissioner, good, I've got my photos. I, uh, I'm going to wander the streets, and while your men might find me, it's given my uh, sneak.
sneaking skills, it's highly probable. Oh, hello, speaking of your men. Um, they're not gonna catch me. I can guarantee you they're not gonna catch me. No, the shadow did not move. I've got a noisy floor here. Some loot to pick up. Any loot over here? It's just a vase. Just a vase. I don't think that's opening from this room. I can't get out without waking up this sleeping lady. Yes. And the guard is gone. Right, let's drop back down. So we could go that way where he patrols, or I'm inclined to do some more climbing. In fact, I'm not sure if I needed a rope arrow for that. No. <laughs> that was the pointless rope arrow. <laughs> Climb up these buttresses. Perfect. Anything in the garden? Moss arrows? No? Oh, there's some loot. Alright, well I can't go this way, but, you know, somebody left their purse lying around. That's fine by me. We go. Well, actually, scatter around up here before I do. There's a couple of window ledges there, but uh, I don't think any way to access them. And those ones are clearly uh, ripped off, so no. Back down we go. Right. The guard's coming back now, so that will give us access to the sewers, no doubt. But uh, he won't see me here, and I will just. Actually, I might just sneak past him. How far does he go? Oh dear, that's a metal... Metal, uh... Bridge, I didn't notice that. Hmm. He does go... Far enough to give me time to travel up the stairs, but I was not prepared for the metal. I didn't have a plan of attack. So I'm just gonna try and follow him. Up the stairs here. Where he goes. There's lots of patches of darkness, it's fine. And he turns to the left and goes up there, alright. Locked door. More darkness, alright. I don't know how far he goes that way. Wait, away. Quite a long way. Uh, that's not the door. The question is, is, does he stay away long enough for me to pick this door? Or should I start it sooner? Don't see him coming back yet. Alright, seems alright. Dear. Dear, oh dear. Money. Come for the patch of metal. Oh dear, somebody sells meat. Great. Citizen through the door. I think he's going back over towards the bridge now. Didiaz. Right, what have we got? What have we got this way? Other guards. More notices. Uh, the copy notice. And the bastion notice. Exactly the same. Notices that I already read. Which way am I going? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm heading north up this alley. Um, I kind of want to do the embassy last, so I might actually head back and try and head east down this lane. Come around that way. I'm gonna explore there. Now I can see some. There's an open window up there, there's wooden beams. There's definitely stuff I can do there. Well, anyway, this fellow's gonna be coming back any moment now, isn't he? He's already coming back. Alright, let's just wait for him to pass. Good evening, sir. How are you this fine evening night? What are you doing out after curfew? <coughs> I 
Oh, there's hammers patrolling this street. In front of uh, St. Gemmels, I think it was. Fine antiquities. I'm hearing people everywhere. Who's that? If it wasn't him, surely. He wouldn't have heard me. Oh, we've got an open window uh, just there that I can't see right now. We have doors to this cathedral. We have a hammer with a person who's built. I like that. What's this statue? St. General Plaza, dedicated to the pious St. General who fought against the tricksters of our nation in the Old Quarter half a century ago, and I'm gonna get trapped here. So I'm gonna have to resort to. Oh no. Oh, he's not coming this way. If he came at me, I would have had to resort to black checking, but I'm just trying to avoid unnecessary disturbances. I'm wondering if I can climb that wall. I'm not sure. I also need a plan for getting up to the open window I saw up there. I'm just going to involve a rope arrow, I'm sure. I'm almost certainly going to involve waiting for this fellow to uh, throw this back. Like so. Uh, oh wait, rope arrow's not going to help you there, is it? Who's the... Oh dear, it's the guard. Yeah. This is not this is not working, this is not getting me where I wanna go. Um There's wooden beams there, but they don't help me at all. Oh there's another guard. Alright, I think this hammer is it's just being too much of a nuisance, he's gonna sleep. He's just gonna sleep here in this dark corner. That gives me a little more freedom. To scout around. So how do I get up into that window? I can hear someone walking around up there. And can I jump up this? No, that's way too high. And that doesn't open. Hmm. Oh, wait, that, that's metal. Those are wood, but they don't help. Okay, this place doesn't open. Right, we've got a guard wandering around, but he shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's gonna stay in the shadows here. The shadow will check them up. So, okay, let's have a priority. There's an antique store there. And that's Hightown Manor, where the open window was. And surely we can find a way to the antique shop, but I don't know how. What do we got down this way? Uh, there's a beam I can climb onto. Handy. So I'm hearing more footsteps. Where are they? Oh, they're on a tile floor. Maybe they're in the building there. <laughs> I see we have a building that is Will the Willow Estate. Is that a guard that I hear around, walking around in there? Let's just scout for a second through the window. Wait for... See if anyone appears. Is it a guard or is it merely a nobleman civilian? That looks like a guard. Does he look out the window or can I safely get to the window? Is it more than one, or is it just one doing circles? Because if it was just one doing circles, that's very quick circles. Well, I guess we go for it. It's going to be noisy. So I'm going to have to go slowly, and it's very visible. So hope he doesn't look out the window. Don't look, sir. He goes, he couldn't see me because he's <clears> going. <throat> yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. <coughs> there's the other one. And they're both doing circles, I think. Right, he didn't see me. Let's proceed. Don't 
don't see me. This is bad. This is gonna be bad. They're gonna see me. <coughs> no? <coughs> wow, these guys have no peripheral vision. Come on. <coughs> Someone there? <coughs> no, <Nice> stop. <coughs> Of this one. Alright. That one's outside on the street. So not a concern. Well, they might hear my noisy footsteps. Yeah, stop blocking the path, guys. You're too fat. That's what you are, too fat. Alright. Let us rob this lovely mansion. of uh, the trickster. First this Lord Brucius and his tough boy, and then that hooded man. They are old enough to my precious tome, but they will never have it. Braddock and Stu will guard it with their lives, and if, it, if anything happens to it, their heads will be on a stake. No one steals from the Willard family without consequences. Oh dear, those guards. I mean, I didn't kill them, but it sounds like they're going to be in trouble, because I am most definitely going to be stealing this home if I can if I have anything to say about it oh moss arrows how nice well there's the tome on display now is there anything funky going on here with traps and whatnot I don't know probably not but I never trust those faces from uh, Constantine's mansion Oh, Compendium of Leafy Magic. I can't read it, but I can steal it. That's one objective complete. Alright. So, I'm not entirely happy with a lot of these guards uh, losing their heads for my, uh, on my account. So why don't I just relocate them to somewhere where they should be, you know, out of that supposed danger. Okay, no gameplay relevance. But, um... You know, they'll wake up here. They'll hear all the commotion, they'll realise what's happened. And they'll be safely out of the way. When, uh... When it happens. When, uh... The shit goes down. Now, of course, the... The guy will no doubt blame them for the theft because they'll be gone as with as well as the tome. That's alright by me. Don't mind someone else taking the rap, they just they don't have to lose their heads over it. Alright. Come on guy, come on, get out of the way. I wanna move into the light here. I don't want you seeing me. Alright. Now, can I get anywhere else up from here? No, so it's not gonna help me get to the other area that I wanted to get to. So what I'm going to do is actually creep back across here and drop to the streets quietly and safely. Alright. When the other door opens. How am I going to rob the people there? I don't know. It's just difficult questions. Door doesn't open, but it does give me a nice bit of shadow. There's plenty of shadow on these streets. I like these streets. Lots of shadow around. Lots of nooks. Despite the lots of guards, it's uh, not hard getting around. We have a guard at the front door of this manor. And one patrolling back and forth on a very short uh, route there. Hmm. Where do we want to go? Is coming back now, so better than pass. That door to the bakery, I guess. Doesn't look like it opens. 
Alright, it's a little brighter here than I like. Something move there? No. Nothing. All quiet now. Must have been rats. Must have been rats indeed. Yeah. Came at the worst possible time there, mate. Hello? Anyone there? Nobody there. Go on back down your alleyway. I'll get away with it. Come on. Alright, doors open. Let's go, go in. Alright, this takes me to the sewers, I guess, judging by the sound of it. Let's just scout. I don't really want to go to the sewers yet. Yeah. Um. Is that a guard here in the sewers? Hearing footsteps on those, uh, what sounds like these metal plates. <clears throat> There's a guard in the sewers. I bet he's got money. What was that noise? I think money. You heard no noise. Seems peaceful enough now. Well, they're hearing me on the stone, rather. More easily than I would have expected. Let's run for our dark shadow. So if we climb up there, I can see a potted plant. I see nothing else. These are the same notes, right? Curfew and Bastion. Can I... Oh, there's no one there. Alright, I don't think I can get up there. I thought I could climb on that, but it's a bit too steep. There's a nice little dark corner, but nothing in it. Huh? Just was nothing. Don't see anything now. Nope. Not because there's nothing to see. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for this guy to get back and forth, I think. I don't know where he goes. I guess I was lucky coming out of the sewers that this guy wasn't walking around in front of us. Is that another open window there? That is another open window. I should really check that out, shouldn't I? While I'm in the area. Yeah, I really should. I wonder if I can knock out the guard who's standing at the door there. And get this guy out of the way. And life will be a lot easier. He'll be uh, safe enough there. Come on. Make your move. Honestly, I, you know, it'd be a lot easier getting around if I just knocked them all out, but I should have gone while his back was turned. Never mind. Back down your, down your alley. While you're going down there, I'll come here and uh, stick a rip arrow in this beam, I think. That was probably too high. It's gonna make it hard to get it back out again. the jump. Can I did. Can I reach the arrow? Stand in the window. Yes, right. Got it. Investigation must continue on the case of Master W, who seems to have acquired a powerful and quite dangerous artifact from R, or possibly from V. Connections with the Order of the Vine. Observations should remain discreet. I know I am close to my objective. I can feel the power of this artifact and the true radiance of its words. Should report to Keeper Bartholomew next week if I can't acquire it. 
This artifact must not fall into the wrong hands. So Master W would be Master Willard, and the artifact being the book that I stole. So he had some uh, keepers keeping an eye on it. Haha. <laughs> and, uh, well. You know, I'm an ex keeper, surely that doesn't count as the wrong hands, right? They're gonna be fine with me taking it, surely? <coughs> I might want to wait till they go back. It's a bit bright up here. Ah, he'll be fine, right? If I just drop down? Oh, will I be fine if I just drop down? That's a good question. Maybe I should use a rope to get back. Well, let's just wait. It's nice and dark here. Yeah, that's a lot. A lot less distance to fall, I should be uh, a little safer from taking damage. I might land on the barrel as well, I don't know, but it uh, could be noisy if it do. Oh, go away, mate. Turn around, go back down your alleyway, and leave me to my business of uh, dropping noisily to the ground. Your garden? Actually, dropping silently to the ground like a cat. Perfect. Whoa, sudden loud electric noises. Right, his patrol route is not very long. Yeah, he turns around right there. As long as he doesn't come too close, I will not have to hit him on the head. But let's just check where we are now. Um, Oh, that's the public works entrance. That's the sewer. Okay. So this is the embassy we're in front of. And I guess <coughs> there's going to be guards out the front of it, too. Might not be the best approach. But let's scout. See what we can see. See if there's darkness we can hide in. There's a guard there. He's facing away. Alright, he turns around. There's a possibility we might be able to climb up that way. I don't know. Yeah, this guard doesn't turn around and face the plaza for some time. Another guard comes that way. An archer. This fellow, of course, that we know. The archer mm -hmm. doesn't stay for long. Alright. And I think somebody will be coming up and down this alley as well. How are we going to get into the embassy? I don't know yet, but I'm also not going to find out yet. We'd, I want to try looting this little corner here. Possibly looting warehouses if we can get in. I still want to try and steal from the priory, the manor here, the antique shop. So I'm going to go down that way next. But first I think I will explore this passageway. Guard. Should watch out for these noisy metal grates. Luckily, no one heard anything. Got our archer friend coming back. You, sir, are getting a door that doesn't open. That's fine, I'm not interested then. Oh, there's a ledge up there. I wonder if I can climb on the barrel and onto the sign and get up there and if there's, if there's anything up there. There's a ledge up here. Can I reach it? I don't know. Do you have a purse? You do not? Alright. No, he doesn't either. A doorway there, that doesn't open, so I'm not going that way. I do see some shutters up there, I wonder if they open. But I don't see any wood with which to attach a rope arrow. Um, there is a ledge there with possibly the way there's an open window there. Let's scout that. What we got? Open window with a wooden beam above it. Perfect. Let's go climbing. Apples. 
you save them for later. For a snack. Uh, oh, I can't read that. So we got some loot. That's it. A note we can't read. Plate, which we don't want. And some apples. Just waiting for the archer now to to go by, so I can go back down. Who's there? Hello. There's nobody. Uh, don't see anything now. That's just because there is nothing now. I notice. Oh, bollocks. This isn't good. Just you wait till I find you. Just calm down. You're not going to look up here and see me, are you? See? There's nothing. Yeah, rats just aren't worth your time. Ouch. Seems peaceful enough now. <coughs> it's indeed peaceful enough now. Well, that hurt a little bit. Why don't I eat my deer legs and apples and see if I can recover any of that hit points. <laughs> I'm sure there must be something else to see up here beyond just that, because uh, uh, we have a castle on that side. And there's this place here, which... Is that wood up above it? I can't quite see. Let's test. No. That's not wood. We've got plenty of prawn heads. It looked like wood to me, but... Uh, is there a way up? Can I... Maybe I can climb on those? Wait for this arch to go away and see if I can climb up onto one of those uh, buttresses there. <coughs> oh shit, he shot me. Here's an arrow for you. No, no, no! Run! Run and bunny hop. Don't quite know how he found me there. <laughs> I'm worried that you might. But I think I got far enough away that I should be okay. I always keep running around the block again and finding another place to hide, of course, but uh, it's rather ridiculous if I have to do that. And I could have used a flash bomb as well, but. Come on, so. let's fight me. I do have a few of those. Well, one. Not quite a few. There's nobody, guys. It was not there's not the thief or anything you have to look for, it's just just your imagination. Alright, I think I'm safe. I think I, I just need to wait. The archer gave up first, even though he was the one that actually uh, uh, ran into me. Alright, they've both given up now. They might still be kind of on alert, so I should probably be careful. I should definitely watch out for these guys if they're facing this way. Oh, and him. I knew there was somebody patrolling this alley. How far does he come? Too far. Alright. That far. Oh, the answer's gonna be on his way back now. I reckon. No? Or well, maybe not, but there's nowhere else I can actually. Can't really get very near the arch here. So that didn't work out the way I wanted. I was trying to uh, still explore that corner to see if it looked for more loot, but um, I got spotted. I still want to explore this alley down here, but uh, that's not going to happen just yet. Alright, let's follow the answer back. Turn around, sir. Now remember, I'm not here. You didn't see anything. <sighs> Go 
going a little further. Alright, that should be okay to go now. Watch out for the metal. Wait here. Oh dear, who saw something? He's suspicious. Oh look, this could be bad. This could be bad. As long as he doesn't come right up to me, I'll, I'll let him go, but if he comes right up to me... Alright. Let me see if I can climb that thing. Oh, come on. Dude, don't come this way. Alright. You've had it. Oh, no, I've had it. Uh, what am I going to do? How am I going to escape this? Alright, I guess I'll run for it again. Ha! Can we get me here? Can't get you. Um... Get away from me either. So you're really quite quite a nuisance, you know. what I was after, but, you know, I guess it, whatever works. I think after all that, I'm not actually going to be able to get up there. Yeah, I don't think I can mantle that. I think it's too, it's too steep again. <laughs> oh, maybe I can. <laughs> guess we'll do it sideways. Alright, good to know. So I could probably open that door. I didn't notice this window here either. Come on, get in. Get in the window, guys. <laughs> in here, pretty sparse. <laughs> and this ledge, you now do, do indeed open. <laughs> nice. Noisy floor. I'm not sure if that's a window, a door that opens or not. We just carpet. Nice carpet. Does open. What do we got here? <laughs> Nothing. But all banners must die. Secrets around the bookshelf? No. What's through the doorway? That's about. Don't hear anyone at all, but it's. Oh, wait, is this the embassy? No, surely not. But. possibly. I mean, it's bigger than uh, just a room for, much bigger than just a room for loot. This might actually be the MC. And if this is indeed the MC, then I'm going to come back later. Come on. Get out there, guy. Thank you. Yeah, that's the embassy. Alright, I will come back there later. Let's, uh, good to know that I have a way in. make this jump across the street here. Alright, so actually knocking out those two guards gives me a lot more freedom here, which is good. What have we got here? Oh, I hear somebody. Yeah, uh, guard. Wait. Look like a thief, not a guard. But they sound like a guard. Maybe they're just a mercenary on guard duty, just to pay the bills. I just so bright. Uh, is this a hammer place? More 
money on the table over there. Uh, people around here. I don't care. I need some money. Fire arrow? I might just knock this guard out to save myself some trouble. If I can reach him without being spotted. There's not many actual dark shadows in this room. Because it. I don't know what I'm doing. my room. There's nothing in there anymore. People taking my. Oh, thank you. Uh, Repair. I'll have that. I'll have the money. 660, Captain Pierce, all bribe. 320, Jacko, Ramirez's leg breaker. He lost a bet. 1200, Merrick for Hammer Priory Job. 178, Demo from the Downwinders. What happened there? 740, Raffle. 75, Info from Servant Barnet after Marco broke both his legs. 800, Income for Trek Boon. Thanks to Merrick. Let him take the rest of the booty as a reward. Note to self Remember to pay a big tribute to Ramirez if I want to keep my head. Looks like Baffert blamed me for that Trek Boon profit drop. But it's the Taffing Hammer's fault, not mine. Alright, so, uh, okay, that explains why he looks like a criminal, because he is one, and this is merely where he has his base. I guess he's guarding his own place. Um, very fancy uh, ceiling he has there, actually. Very fancy indeed. The symbol of the hammer is a little unfitting for criminals, generally, but, you know. Wow, this place continues. Oh, I see. There's another. Where are we looking over now? This is facing south, I guess we're overlooking this alley. Right, and I could have got in this way thanks to this wooden beam. Yeah, alright, that's a warehouse. Oh dear, somebody saw me. But sort of, sort of didn't see me. Alright, they don't know I'm here, but they were uh, alerted. Two of them. There's a warehouse just in front of me, uh, with a nice wooden beam for uh, loading from, I guess. Is there any reason for me to jump over to those, uh, what do you call them, gargoyles? Don't think so, but like it looks really tempting given the way these beams are arranged. Um, it's possible one of those windows opens, but it seems unlikely. It seems more likely one of them, like they would have had them open already if they were to open. But I will try it. Nope. Nope. And they heard that. Both of them heard it. Great. Now I'm gonna wait for him to calm down again. Or not. Oh, he's an archer, actually. I do need to wait for him to calm down. Because he will hurt me if he sees me. Uh, I need a rope in there. I'll find you. Uh, still hunting. Damn you. Uh dear, I'm gonna have to pick those locks, probably, aren't I? Just you wait. While they're patrolling, all right. I've got a dark corner on the far side of the ledge. I think I can stand there. Well, let's just go for it. Nope. Identify thyself as a builder from whence came thee. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. God, everyone's alerted again. What were you doing? Patrolling your warehouse. He's gonna find me, isn't he? Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, alright. Well, I know there's a hammer in there now, and I know that that archer is on high alert. And actually, I should watch this patrol. How far is he? Not very far. So I really don't have a lot of time to get in there. So I should wait till the archer's back is turned. Then go for the rope. Right, he heard that, but hopefully the guy inside didn't. These guys will patrol for a little bit. I'll find you. Just you but wait. shouldn't follow me, alright. Yeah, so this guy has not heard anything. I wonder if I can see his patrol at all. 
I think I'm gonna have to hit him on the head. I don't think there's any other option. There's a tiny space in there, and he's just going around in circles. I know you're around here somewhere. Let me just go somewhere out of the room. Touching about his footsteps. I do need to wait for these two guys to come down, especially the archer. Wait for that. Identify that self. Is someone there? Nay. Cameron. Hmm, I do wonder what it was. Let's see. Right, let's close the doors. So they won't see me. Let's rob this hammer warehouse, shall we? What's the notice? Brother SWS, notice thou that thy predecessor, Brother Reginald, sadly lost the key to the storage room by dropping it in the sewer hatch inside, and that this door shall remain closed until the lost key is found, or a new one is built by a good enough locksmith. Alas, Brother Reginald was locked inside at that time with two novices for reasons unknown, and since the door is as hard as the builder's might and thus unpickable, they surely have died of starvation by now. May the builder shine upon their souls. Brother Hildur. Okay, we have a storage room. This one, I guess. Which I will not be able to pick. Uh, but... I can hear something inside there. I hear some talking. Footsteps. Grumbling. There's nothing really there now. Possibly that grumbling was from outside too, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, if I go into the sewers, I could find the key. That doesn't take me to the sewers, does it? That's just a little pool of water for whatever that thing is. Where's your loot, peoples? Oh, healing potions, alright. And this door does not open at all. Alright, so there's nothing of interest for me in the warehouse until I find that key. Alright, well that's useful to know. Right, let's make sure you're not going to get spot seen by anyone on the street. Because um, that would be bad. In fact, let's just put you in a dark corner so there's no chance of any problems. Right. Alright, Archer's facing away. Okay, so I can... Drop down into that corner. Seems peaceful enough now. Yeah, it's peaceful enough now. Of course it's peaceful enough now. I can drop down there without being heard. I'll leave my rope so I can get back in here easily. And we'll try see if we can find that sewer key, shall we? Nice dark corner. I wonder if that, that door opens, but I wonder if it's pickable. You know what? I do not like this archer. I'm okay with the guys with swords staying around, but the archer, I think, is too much of a threat for me. I'm gonna knock him out. Oh, oh well. Because it was nothing. Right, so he turns around. Is he guarding anything? Does he turn around to face away, or... Am I enough that I can get by? Okay. Hmm. I wonder... if I can stand by that door without him seeing me. It's quite bright there. I'm not sure. I guess I could just go for it. Nope. Okay, I can do it. He saw me, but he didn't recognize it as a thief. Just a odd shadow in the corner of his vision. Uh, you might wonder why I'm playing a little more sneakily than usual. Like most of the previous missions, I've been like blackjacking people left, right, and center. And the answer is really just because you know, because I feel like it. There's nothing. Turn, turn my eyes away. No. I'm gonna run in that door and you're not gonna see me, right? Yep. Nope. Uh, it wasn't even open all the way, that was, that was annoying. Oh, we have a back way to the sewers. That's convenient, because that's where I wanted to go. And a couple more water arrows, they should come in handy. Excellent. Let's go check them out. Well, there was a guard 
Uh, let's not go that way, huh? I was to say there was a guard. Now let's just just close the door to stop noise. But worse than a guard, there's a bloody uh, big spider in there. I guess I can wait for it to come back and shoot it. I wasn't expecting to have to deal with giant spiders in this mission. Usually the city-like missions are free of them. I don't like the spiders. Don't like them at all. Will you come back underneath this hatchway, please? Madame Spider. So that I can... Do that. Oh, fox. Uh, the guard heard that too. Uh, it's, it's seen me, right? I wonder if can the guard get, get there and actually... I don't have enough, uh... I do have a fire arrow. Let's just use a fire arrow. Take that! I don't have enough broadheads to just, like, shoot it while it's already alert. I'm gonna sick the dogs on you when I find you. It's the one. Who heard that? Is there somebody down there? It's just wooden... It's, it's wooden footsteps. Wooden floor. Sounds like it's above me, too. Odd. There's no wooden floors down here, are there? down here because he's uh, complaining about the smell and, and the sewers and stuff. Alright, that doesn't open. Ooh, noisy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That's very odd sound propagation there. Well, there's a wooden floor. And that door doesn't open, so they're not going to find me here, but... What are they doing down there? I don't know. Aren't you a guard? Or are you another thief? Thiefy person. Alright. Alright, this is a different part of the sewers than the part where they are. Alright, so. Go for a swim. Keep an eye open for a key. Oh, maybe that's the people who locked themselves in there. And they haven't starved yet. I don't know. Where's my map? So, where were we? Where was that sewer entrance? Was it off this way? I can't even remember now. Oh, there was a warehouse there. So it was maybe down here somewhere? Or is it an alleyway that's not marked? I don't know. The sewer entrance was south of the warehouse door, I think. And since coming in, Basically coming back this way. So we should be somewhere almost below the warehouse now. So probably worth checking to see if there's a key down here, but no, that's the, not the grates below the warehouse, I guess. Where does this go? Patch of air. No, it's a long way. A long way down. Alright, well, we have air here. There's another passage as well. This is not sewers anymore. This is uh, actual caves. Interesting. Also, I wonder what. It's Crayman Caves! Hello, Crayman! To you too. I don't really like Crayman, but uh, at least I have an easy place to escape. If I need to. Does he just patrol in a circle? If he just goes in a circle, then that's fine. Then I can just follow him slowly. And uh, get around. So I'm just going to wait here a moment more and find out. 
if that is indeed Grey Patrol. So if it goes back and forth, it's going to be a little more of a nuisance. From the sound of it, he is just coming around in a circle. Yep. Alright, so I will just go over the same way he's going. At a respectful distance. That's a big room there. It's possible there's another crane man or something in there. Hopefully no spiders. I'm sure if there were spiders, the crane man would have killed them, right? They're not friends. I see a diamond. I see a dead person that came before me. I think I hear a second crane man. I do. Facing this way, which is worse. Does it turn? Can I just get. Yeah, alright. He does turn. I think this is bad news for me. Because I'm not going to be able to deal with both of them at once. Need to find a dark corner. What, such as this one, maybe. Oh, 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 quiet. Quiet. <sighs> Did you see me? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I used to just be patrolling. All right, I'm gonna try and knock this guy on the head, so I'm a little more free to deal with the other one. Doesn't sound like he heard. Okay. Now, is it looks darker on this side, to be honest. I kind of need to wait till he turns around. Or is he already facing away? I can't tell. I think he's facing this way. He will turn and face to turn to his left and face my right. Come on, come on, mate, do your thing. Oh, he was facing away. Ah, oh, bollocks. Maybe I can do it in the darkness now without him seeing. All right, so he's facing away. Let's let's just go for it. Oh, he's got a he's got a key. Is that is that the key I'm looking for? A forsaken key. Wow, he just picked up the key and decided to put it on his belt. Uh oh. Diamonds. I wonder if that is the key that I'm after for the storage room. Doesn't tell me, it just says forsaken key. Alright, well these people will wake up with a bit of a headache. I say people, I mean three men. Um, with a bit of a headache later on. But that's alright. Did I miss any other loot? Let me just double check. Are here any other nooks and crannies? But I think not. It's just diamond with this set of bones. Uh, or a silver nugget rather, and a diamond with the other set of bones. Alright, so far so good, let's go back down and take the other passageway, which was where, I don't remember anymore, um, let's go back to the wall, yeah alright, so we just went down here and I thought there was a second passageway. Yeah. This one. It's, it's not the same cave. Is it? Wait, is this the same cave? Surely not. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Who's this fellow? What's his diary say? It seems that this cave network is more complicated than I first thought. Looks like barracks have carved these caves before they reach the sewers. And then they drowned or something. Serves them right. I encountered some crewmen down there, but I managed to flee without being spotted. 
Looks like some poor Taffers weren't as lucky as me. I found this little air pocket and I'm gonna rest for now. The city shouldn't be too far away. I hope those bloody cray men won't find me here. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, sir, I think they did, because you look quite dead. Breath potion, and a couple more broadheads. Alright, nothing to sneeze at. And of course a bit of money. Alright, nothing else in this room. Back down we go. And back up. And that's the way to the Crayman, I think. Oh god, I'm lost. Right, here's my little air pocket. So it's quite possible this bit of sewers does not connect to the other bit of sewers with the guards, because I think that's as far as I can go from here. And this just brings us out, out back here. Do we see something in here? Oh, no, there's a pipe. Okay. There's two sewer pipes. I think that's the one I came in. Uh, which means I should be able to continue this way. Silly me. You know anything? Well, I definitely haven't been here before. I'll take that. I'll read that. Bron, it took me two months to finally figure out what was making that racket in the pumps. It was a damn key! It must have fell through the drain grates above the pumps and somehow got stuck inside the turbines. However, when I was about to throw that key away, a cream man came out of the sewer hatch and stole it right off my hands. And then that monster disappeared with the taffing key as quickly as it came. Those things are really creepy if you ask me. I told Joran to patrol the area and watch out for the Crayman. If that thing comes up again, I'm sure its head will look great on my mouthpiece. Daniel. Well, it doesn't have the key, I've got the key. And that story confirms that that is indeed the key I'm looking for. But of course I'm in the wrong part of the sewers now. And there's uh, definitely people I don't like. Nearby. Does he come in here? If he comes in here, I will not around. Because it's just too cramped in these sewers for uh, guards to be patrolling around without, you know, on their own. Running into me in corridors. Anyone else? Can't hear anyone else. What do we got this way? Nothing. I think this is the sewers I was up to. Ooh, somebody's trying to stash some money. I think this is the same sewer tunnels I came to before from that hatch leading to the street. Let's check. It's nice and dark in here, isn't it? Hmm. This isn't familiar. It's a hatch on the street that I went in before, I thought. Wasn't it? Oh, wait. No, maybe this is the public works room. Let's check the compass. Facing north. Well, the public works place is facing south. Where are we? Interesting question. No, I've definitely not been here. All that door would not be locked. Uh, I see a note on the doorway. I see. This is like a cellar. Here's someone. That's a servant. It's alright. I will go back up the stairs, surely. Yeah, they're just, just stretching their legs. I don't need a doorknob or a spade. What's the note say? Attention, guards! All patrols have to be doubled in the embassy and around. I've entrusted the key to the second guest room to Rufus, who will patrol the ground floor as our guest. Duke Whitehall is out for the night. Stay serious, sharp, and no drinking on duty. And don't forget to give Stefano a copy of the vault key. Captain of the Hightown Embassy Guard, J.D. Sterling. Right, so this is the embassy then. Oh, that's not a very dark corner, that's better. So the servant's coming again. Uh, alright. So that's useful to know. Does he have a purse on him? I don't think so. No, he does not. There's another locked door there. Which will need a key. Alright. Maybe that's the vault. Let us return to the sewers. 
and continue our exploration of the sewers because I just want to finish, uh, find out everywhere we've got to go. And this passage to continue on. How much way did I come? I think I came from that direction, yeah. So this way then, it's now turning east. Yeah, this way we'll go to the public works place, I'm sure. Yes, 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 this is the public works. Okay. Right. So, uh, that lets us get to the embassy as well. Just put a question mark at embassy entrances. So as the briefing said, the sewers and the rooftops are both viable entrances. Now, I'm going to go back down here. Back through the pipe we came in because I want to go back to the warehouse now that we have the Forsaken Key. So we can open the storage room and see what we find in there. Come on, get out. Where's the, where's the way up? Yeah, I can hear them as thread out. I wonder if there's anything in this muck. Let's search some muck, shall we? Oh, there is something in the muck. It's a secret passage. No wonder I could hear some uh, people. Let's be in this room. Interesting. Tommy Rot. Reuben and Donald can slit their throats as much as they want over that stolen vase. I, for one, don't give a damn. I didn't become a downwinder to side with either Reuben nor Donald, nor to guard the door to the Overlord's fancy and request the password every time someone wants to enter. I became a thief to live from thievery and stolen valuables. I'm quite curious, though. Do you know who stole the vase? I thought the key safe system was very clever, but someone has definitely been smarter than them. If you say you stole it, I won't tell anyone. You have my word. Sutter. Uh, I'll take the healing potion, sure. Thief's letter. One word. I'll be out tonight. I have a job to do for the society. As usual, don't tell anyone this is between you and me. Stay low, and keep an eye on the booty I managed to snatch from the guild. This pointless conflict between Donal and Reuben really got on my nerves, and until someone replaces both of them as the new leader of the Downwinders, I won't give it back. And don't you put your dirty hands on it, or you'll be sorry. Tommy Rot. Well, there's some booty to be had. I think I want it. So who is this person muttering to themselves? You. Garrett, you're crazy for coming down here. Oh. Why? Why? Come out, come out wherever you are. Well, you know it's me. Why don't you sleep? While I pick your safe and steal your booty. Nice. I have a tiny ring. Don't miss it. Anything else? No, nope, that looks like a lot. And you have two banners that they cannot stand. Who made that noise? Where am I? Where? How come I can hear you? I'll find you. you wait. What? Maybe he's on the. Sounds like he's on the street, up above. He should really shouldn't be able to hear me from there, but, uh, okay. Fair enough. Guess it's just a bug. Right, I think we've got everything we needed to steal from here, so let's go back. Well, always check in the muck, you know. You never know what, you, what you might find. <laughs> Alright, back up the ladder. Oh yeah, that's for you, the guard out on the street here. Who just heard me. <laughs> Okay, so I need to get back to the warehouse and check out that storeroom. I can't see the guard there, but hopefully he's not looking. Or he's blind enough not to see me. Either works. Blind enough. Blind enough. It's only blind enough for my liking. What do we 
freak out in the storeroom with my forsaken key. Sounds a bit creepy. Yeah, well, those people didn't really survive very well. God, that guard on the street is still hearing things. So we have zombies, or at least one. Anything around here? Nope. Broken gate. I see loot on the left and I think the right. I'm just going to make a run for it. Check the right, but make sure I've got an escape room. Alright. I think I got all the loot. Let's take my arrow. And leave that zombie into his warehouse. His uh, friends might be very surprised to find him there. Okay, so where to now? We are here. I still want to guess try to get to the antique shop in the priory, see if there's any more loot I can get there. We do have 2400 to steal, we're up to 1400. I'm sure there's plenty in the embassy to reach our target, but I like these city streets, I want to explore them some more. But it has been a bit over an hour, so I'm going to save the episode here, um, and I'll see you shortly for the next episode.